guys, it's been a day. Well, I may tell you. Horrible. It could be worse, of course, but it's just a bad day. I got my chemistry grade back for my test and I didn't do well, which is no surprise because it's chemistry and I just can't do it. I can't figure it out. It just doesn't click for me. And I will have so much sympathy for my kids if they struggle in a subject because it just sucks. Like, I can't do anything about it. I try and study as hard as I can and it still doesn't click. So, that's that. I hate chemistry. And I've kind of like, don't care anymore because I don't even need this class for my new school. So, I just want to keep my GPA up. But, I have A's in my other classes. So, it really doesn't make sense. Especially when the average on the test is a 43. There's something wrong there. Something's wrong with the professor, not the students. Okay, that's my rant. And then, after class, I walk into the parking lot and have a ticket on my windshield. I'm so mad. And it was 11 minutes late, because my uh, pass expired at 11.39, and he came by at 11.50 and gave me a ticket. And I got there. My class gets out at 11.50, so I was booking it. Didn't make it. <sighs> Which is kind of annoying, too, because they don't do 30-minute passes. They only do hours, so... I paid for two hours, but to follow the rules, I had to pay for three hours. It's just late. So I'm over that. I went for a jog, I feel better, and now I'm making some delicious juice. I wish I could turn this camera around so you can't see my ugly kitchen. But this is all of the yummy fruit going into my juice. I have my little juicer. I got butter on the side here, not to go in the juice, but because I'm making chocolate chip cookies, because it's the weekend. And I can have chocolate again, so I'm excited. I've been doing that for two weeks. I've done two weeks now. Oh, and I had to add my sticker to the the chart, so don't let me forget. Okay, but this is, is it too loud? This is what I put in my juice. Apples, strawberries, and oranges. Don't come out here if you don't want to be on camera. Carrots and pineapples. The core is coming out, and he is afraid of the camera, so. He's going back. <laughs> so, oh, I'm not putting this huge chunk of pineapple in there, by the way. That's just cut up. Um, it says you're supposed to start with, you're, you're supposed to mix it up, like soft fruits and then hard fruits. So uh, it doesn't matter at the beginning. I'm doing oranges. Nom, nom. It splashes all over the place too. So it's fun. I like making juice. I haven't made it for a while. And then a handful of strawberries. What is that? Oh, I have to tell you something about that too. And it has this really pretty colors. I'm a nerd. I think that's what I like about it the most is all the different colors. So let's do some blueberries. Make it really cool. Chunk of blueberries up in here. Eat for it, eat for it. Let's just do all the blueberries. No! Oh, look how pretty it is! It's like a deep red. I love it. And let's do some apples. That's not a good thing. That sound is not good. Here we go. And I think you could put whole apples in there. It just says to pour it out. Why do that? Same thing with like spinach. You can't taste that either. I've done 
celery though, and I'm not a big celery person, and I didn't like that. Oh, you can definitely smell the carrots though. Let's do some pretty pineapple. It's so juicy, I love it. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Oh, I have to cut it. Let's do this. Boom. Oh. I'm not making you guys too dizzy going back and forth from the camera. Ha ha. Ooh, I might have too much juice in this cup. Yeah. Okay, the thing about the strawberries is I found this picture on Pinterest where you take a straw and you go through the strawberry. Hang on, let's see if I can do it. Like, go from the bottom up. So, like that. So you gut it. And it's supposed to come out like this. So I tried that. It didn't work too well. So I just decided to cut off the tops instead. That's so much easier. It just smells so good. And then after I do all the fruit, I put it in the freezer for probably 10 minutes because I like my juice really cold and it's delicious. If you guys don't have a juicer, go get one. a lot of juice from apples, oranges, and carrots. Carrots do a lot of juice. Throwing the rest of the strawberries in there. Oh no, it's all the strawberries. this much juice before. It always is like half of the cup. So I think it's the pineapple. So I hardly ever put pineapple in there. I was gonna put watermelon but it's gone bad. I did that last time and it was delicious. So now like we have an orange and a carrot left. And you want to do the carrot after the orange because the carrot is tougher but so pushes everything out. All the extra juice that might be in there. Oh crap I have a pineapple left too. I might have to switch over to another cup. <laughs> Carrots are crazy too. They're gonna overflow. They're gonna overflow. Okay, so I see. It's perfect. See, it looks really gross, but it is amazing. It tastes delicious. And it's so good for you. I want to buy... Let me get away from here. I want to buy those popsicle makers. Empty containers that you put, like, chocolate or fruit juice in. And then I can make a really healthy popsicles. So, I'm going to start looking for those. <sighs> I am much more relaxed now that I went for a jog. Thank you. What a stressful day. So I'm glad it's Friday and I can relax and have a little bit of wine. And we're going over to the leaves tonight. And it'll be awesome. Hope you guys are having a better day than I am. I love you guys. And I promise next time I'll get Corey on camera. Promise.